Russia's ambassador to the U.S., Sergei Kislyak, joins us now. Mr. Ambassador, thank you for joining us. The United States is making it very clear that any diplomatic solution must include a pullback of Russian troops from Crimea. Is Russia prepared to meet that condition? Well, first of all, thank you for having me. Secondly, uh, what kind of pullback from Crimea are you talking about? We are now in the territory of Russian Federation because there are a lot of things that have happened and one has to be very realistic about it. There was an expressed will of people living in Crimea to become a part of Russian Federation at the moment when there was an unconstitutional takeover of power with the use of force in Kyiv. And uh, they felt that uh, this is a moment that is threatening uh, they, uh, the way of the life they wanted to conduct. So. Uh, Crimea is a part of Russian Federation and... Uh, how, how about Eastern Ukraine, sir? Can you state unequivocally that Russian troops will not push into Eastern Ukraine? Well, we have said so many times that we have no intent, no interest in crossing the border. But does that mean you the won't do it? it? Well, uh, we are not planning to. We have uh, our forces conducting the exercises in the territory of Russian Federation. I would like to remind you, in the territory of Russian Federation, that is normal exercise that we are conducting. Moreover, we have offered uh, transparency over the issue, and there were a number of overflies done, including by our Ukrainian neighbors and friends just for them to be sure that there was nothing happening that would be considered threatening to their interests. You heard President Obama label Russia a regional power acting out of weakness. Your response? Well, if uh, uh, you consider Russia a regional power, look at the region that we are in. It's from Europe to Asia. It's quite a significant region in the first place. Secondly, I think that uh, those categorizations are very artificial. We're a country with a lot of uh, interest and a lot of things that we can contribute to throughout the world, but we certainly are not going to overstretch anyway. Will there be a diplomatic solution to this crisis? I hope so, and it's something that we have been trying to work uh, on for quite a long period of time. We have developed our own ideas. We understand what can be of help to Ukrainian people because the biggest problem, and you need to remember this, is not between Ukraine and Russia. It's between Ukrainian um, uh, temporary government and the rest of the country. It's a country that certainly needs uh, a revision of the constitution that would include a mechanism where the regions uh, would be heard and the views will be taken on board. And it's something that is important. And if international community can help the Ukrainians to do this process, that would certainly be helpful. Mr. Ambassador, thanks very much for your time this morning. Thank you very much.